Okay, but I gotta get everybody going. So, all right. Good morning, everyone. Again, a couple of a couple of little issues. So we're gonna be a couple of minutes. All right. Um, you know this whole internet thing. We're working on it. Um, but I will be back in just a couple of minutes, okay? Hold tight. Okay, good morning. Uh, for some of you who can hear me, um, we had some technical difficulties. We came in early this morning, checked everything out, got a go on it. And now when we went to go live just a few minutes ago, um, about five to 10, it didn't work. So you were all being sent a new link. So sorry, but a new link and then a link to the smile page as well. Okay, and so we'll give everybody a couple of minutes. Okay. So if you can ask them to, to click on say something and let us know you're there, you'll start seeing names come through on the chat. Okay, so the interactive link is live. So if you could just click on say something and let us know that you're there and it's all good, we would appreciate that before I get um, technically started, okay? Not seeing anything yet. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you, those that are signing on, you can hear me? Yes? Sound is good? Picture is good? Okay, so Mary, your yes, and Betty, your yes is a yes to my questions, right? Perfect. 
Okay. I'm going for Helen. <laughs> Me, of course, I just stand here and wait to look pretty on the screen. <laughs> this is, um, wow, this is daunting, all this new stuff. Right, ladies? So, okay. Um, it looks like, okay, yes to your question. All right, I'm going to get started. Okay, um, welcome to another virtual patchwork party. Um, the May session. So normally, um, Bev and I have just returned from Quilt Market. So we had it in the plans that Helen was going to take over this program and um, create a project for you. So the project that she was going to create um, was sidelined, let's say, and remarkably, she has a new pro has prepared a new project for you. So she will be doing the YouTube video um, later on today, and then that will be sent to you. No, no, no. It, well, in a way, it'll be sent to you, not separately, because um, as I mentioned in the email yet last night, that did not work. So um, what we're going to do is she's just going to, um, once the video is shot and we like it, then it will be uh, upgraded on your smile, uh, not on your smile, because this isn't Saturday Smile. Um, it will be um, updated onto your Patrick Party page. So when you go to bring this page up tomorrow, you can just refresh it and your YouTube video should pop up for you, okay? So it'll all be on the same page now, exactly what you're looking at today. So I hope a lot of sent to you, you had attentive and take notes, okay? And then we can um, go from there. So, all right, um, sorry about this. I mean, we are trying so hard um, to continue to bring you Patchwork Party, okay? Um, all right, so I'm going to take a little bit of a step back um, just because I don't want to take for granted that people are knowing what to do, okay? I fielded quite a few questions about using coupons online and, you know, all that kind of so I know exactly how all of you feel as far as waiting for product to come in, okay? And the reason that we don't have product um, when we uh, sell things either via this program or a Saturday Smile or Repro Club, that we don't have the product sitting in the store before we host the program is because Obviously, there's no one that can come in and purchase the extra product if we were to order too much, right? So it's always the too much or the too little. So what we do now is once a program is presented, at the end of that day, <clears throat> an order goes in to um, help us with what is already in stock if some of our stock is low, okay? And then... We have to wait for that to obviously get shipped. And that takes a little bit longer now because um, companies' um, staff is not up to full capacity yet, right? So um, that might take an extra day or two. And then, of course, it gets shipped, right? And then it's it could be, I've been telling people, something that would normally take two days to get to us has taken as many as 16 days to arrive at my house. So it's just a crazy world out there, okay, knowing that, right? So a week ago Saturday, I was driving home from the store, and I turned onto County Road, and I saw um, lots and lots of smoke. And I thought, my goodness, who just passed me that is blowing all this smoke out of their car. So I probably drove another half mile down County Road and I went, uh-oh, that isn't somebody else, that's me. I could smell it and I could see the, all the plumes of smoke behind my car. So I did drive home the rest of the way, shut the car off. 
the very next day, my husband goes to um, check it out and there's all kinds of blinking lights and it's like, do not drive the car anywhere, right? So we had it towed and long story short, my car is three years old, 17,000 miles on it and I blew the engine. I need a new engine. So here I sit. My car is at the shop and the engine has been shipped and now we wait. Okay. So again, normally something that they would have like that, right? It is taking, well, this is now day, what, 10 or 11 right? So it's just crazy. And we all have to have patience. So um, I thought that was rather ironic. It was, I guess, a lesson for me that I, um, I too need to be patient. Um, so my husband and I are down to one car. So he is chauffeuring me everywhere. Well, everywhere here and home, right? Okay. So um, I thought you might enjoy that. Um, all right, so let's go down the right-hand side of your interactive page, right? So this month's special, we can't be as creative as we like to be, right, as far as giving you a special. So what we do, because everything has to be done online. So your special this month is a 20% discount on, all, on any order placed um, by mid online by midnight Friday, May 29th, okay? So you have all of today, all of tomorrow, and all of Friday to figure out what you would like to purchase. And then whatever you purchase will be discounted 20%, okay? And what you're going to do is enter the coupon code May Party. So that is right on your um, page your interactive page, okay? It says right there, enter coupon code May Party. okay? Um, you can call it in to me as well, and I will obviously apply the discount to everything. So, um, but we're hoping to make it easy that you can just surf our website and um, apply things that way. Okay, so that incorporates, and you don't have to do a separate order for books or anything like that. All right. Um, the only thing that it is not going to be including are kits that are prepared by us. So the patchwork garden kits, magazines, shipping, and you can't double dip on a sale fabric. Okay, so if the sale fabrics are 50% off. They're 50% off. They're not going to jump to 70% off. Okay. All right. So hopefully that will, we won't have too many questions on that, that that'll be okay, work okay for you. Okay. We are going to do an attendance prize today. Again, we can't be overly creative, but we will um, announce a, a, an attendance prize. We'll draw. Okay. In a little bit. Um, your, now remember this, right? So post Friday, whenever you are ordering things, right, if you are ordering a book that has to go in as it's, or books, they have to go in as a separate order because then you're going to apply the coupon PWP as is applicable will be PWP10, but you cannot use two different coupons in one order. Okay, so you have to do your book separate. This is going forward after Friday. And then you have to do the rest of your ordering separately. Okay, so just so hopefully we can start getting this in gear because I think we're going to be doing this for a little while longer. Okay, moving down, a little known fact. Um, the building in which you shop, in which Patchwork Garden is housed, is now... Uh, turning 100 this year. So that's pretty cool. And I just was thinking last night, like what a better place to keep up the tradition of quilting than in a hundred year old house. So there's your little known fact for today. Um, next week's meeting, again, we are going to be meeting virtually ladies. So it's going to be Wednesday, 
June 24th at both 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m., okay? Just like this, okay? So um, hopefully you're getting used to this because there's just absolutely no way that we can all gather or even, I don't know, six of us gather, right? It's just not going to work. So we'll see what happens in July, but mm, we're thinking the big gatherings, we probably have to keep it this way, okay? But for sure in June, okay? And then Helen's organizational tip, okay? So she says, now that we finished so many of those UFOs and other projects, how will we be using the new space from using up all their fabric? For Helen, it means time to do much needed spring cleaning. So she's gonna share some pictures next month um, with us. So we have that to look forward to, right? And I know lots and lots of you have been um, working on older projects, which is great. Lots of blocks of the month being done. I'm picking backings and things all the time. Okay, so just remember, too, um, that if you place an order that is for me to um, look, hunt for fabric for you or pick a backing for you or things like that, you're more than welcome to drop off swatches with little notes, okay, on the, <clears throat> either the Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday mornings. However, no that that is going to take me a while, okay? So you're probably looking at 10 to 14 days, okay? Just to play it safe, okay? Um, all right, so let's begin. All right, so let me show you the project for today, all right? Um, this is your Stay Calm, Sassy, or Classy, okay? So look, this is obviously, this is for your masks, okay? So very, very uh, unbelievable. So and if you don't need it for a mask, you can use it as a little sling purse, right? But your actual mask can fit right in the one pocket. Oops. And there's another pocket down here that has a little bottle of hand sanitizer, right? So that you're all set to go. And then there's a little pocket here that you can slip your cell phone in. So Helen thought of everything, okay? And then a nice little strap, okay? If you're so choosing to use it like such. If you want to just leave this in your car, same thing, no strap and no um, wiggle hooks, okay? So, uh, but same idea, three Three, two zipper pockets and one pocket, okay, for, and this one is made out of toweling, okay. The other one, this one is made out of, of um, canvas fabric, okay. So Helen's going to be shooting that video for you later today, but you do have your pattern, so you can, as you're watching the video tomorrow or over the weekend, um, you have your pattern on your interactive page, okay? And you can just follow along. All right. So hopefully that's all good. Um, my recipes for this month, you're going to hit the little part that says this month's recipes from Joan, right? And when you hit that, up pops Mile High Meatless Lasagna Pie and Flu Fighter Cookies. So the Mile High Meatless Pie um, I know it's a little warm now, but I made this, I don't know, Easter, I think. Um, it was really good. Um, some of you may know I'm not huge into meat. So this was stacked super high in a springform pan, and you could cut really nice wedges, and it would keep its shape. Um, I actually brought some for Jeanette and I. Um, to share one Saturday, and she liked it too. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Okay, the Flu Fighter cookies, that's courtesy of Maureen um, Trumpfeller. <clears throat> she had dropped off the recipe. We were on the phone one day. She was placing an order, and she had mentioned that she made these cookies. And <clears throat> in this time, I know we're not fighting, fighting the flu, but obviously um, 
another virus. So she said these cookies were really good. And I said, oh, you know, maybe I'll take a look at the recipe. So I have not made these yet, but Maureen has. And she said they're excellent. Okay. So those are your recipes for today. So hopefully everyone can access them very clearly okay, or easily. All right, so let's get into the program for today. Um, so under the what's happening, right? Um, I wrote a little paragraph because here we are again, finding ourselves in the same place, okay? So hopefully all of you are still remaining healthy and safe. And it's been funny because some people are saying, you know, I really rather enjoy this. I enjoy the quiet. You know, there's no rushing here and there. You know, I don't mind it. And I'm getting a lot of things done that I wouldn't normally get done. So um, you hear that end of the spectrum, right? And then you get the person that, all right, I'm kind of over this. I didn't mind it for a couple of weeks, but this is really wearing thin. Whichever side of the fence you're on, um, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Because we're in it. So um, again, we hope you do. It will not happen. So the entire month of June, we will still remain closed. Um, we be aware of our staff. Um, you know, get in contact with everyone, make sure they do want to come back. Um, they're comfortable waiting on the general public, you know, all things like that. And we need to make sure that when you all enter the store, that you are the safest. We are presenting you with the safest possible situation. We are presenting you with the safest possible situation. Doors finally a mass entrance right just the doors are open and everyone and anyone can come in you know there will there will be a protocol to follow and um there will be a limit as to how many people are allowed in the store but just so that you're not thinking oh you know maybe in a couple of weeks we'll open we're not okay so um unfor we would love to because um as thankful as we are for all your orders shopping and picking different things up. Um, but this is this is the situation in front of us and we want to be mindful of everyone. Okay. So um, we hope you agree with us and um, have patience with us for this. Okay. So our Saturday smiles, they really receive. We hope most of you watch them. Um, Okay, so um, they've been fun. So lots of different topics. We have a couple of new things <clears throat> that we're going to be trying going forward too. So maybe introducing a couple, a couple of other, excuse me, allergies. So an update on the Quick as a Wink books. I did speak with Donna Robertson of Fabric Cafe. They are not ready yet, but remember she had said June, July because she is working with her trying to work with her photographer, okay? So just so that you know, if you did pre-order those, um, you have not missed out yet. They have not um, been finalized and not been shipped. Okay, whole thing about classes, right? I'm starting to get emails and a couple of phone calls about classes. So <clears throat> if you have registered for a class that was taking place in April, May, or June. You, these will be addressed as individual classes, okay? <clears throat> so you can start seeing emails from us over the next couple of weeks um, saying how we think this, your particular class that you signed up for <clears throat> could be working in the future, okay? So again, um, please have patience with us. All right. Um, so those are hands-on classes and even um, the lecture demos. There are two rather big programs that um, we were hoping to bring to you this summer. One was the Le Westerly program, Essence of Tradition. So we were going to start that in June. Obviously, we cannot. It is lecture demo style, but um, we still cannot um, have people in the classroom, right? Plus our classroom is a warehouse at the moment. So um, we um, 
just want you to know that <clears throat> it will be coming. It's just put out there a little while longer and we will run it for the entire year and we'll, we will bring you the entire program. OK, so if you've been thinking about signing up for that, just know that you still can. OK, if you've been playing with your Westerly rulers at home now and think, oh, this was pretty fun. <clears throat> sign up for the program. And to that end, Helen was also going to do the embroidery retreat, which is a follow up to um, the sisterhood retreat. And this was going to be four times a year beginning in August. OK, so it would be every three months. Um, again, that is more than likely going to be postponed, but we will still bring it to you in its entirety. OK, um, so. We, uh, again, if you were on the fence about um, signing up for that embroidery retreat, know that you can do that in the future, okay? All righty. I'm just going to grab a little bit of water. Excuse me. Okay. So going through, we have some new books for you, right? So they're listed right across your um, interactive page. There are six of them. One is called Charming Baby Quilts. So there's some really cute things in here. And as its name indicates, Charming, is um, it features a lot of charm packs, okay? Or obviously five-inch squares. But some really, really, really cute things in here. So you can look at the pictures inside. Um, I, of course, wanted to find one because it was just darn cute. And it used um, Zen Sheik's. Oh, of course, I won't be able to find it now. It used the Zen Sheik's um, charm pack. And we have those. So oh, there it is. I thought this was so cute. So it's hugs and kisses. So we do have Zen Chic um, charm packs. So I don't think they're listed online, but you can call me for them. Okay. So you can get a nice little pink and white quilt. Okay. Big, 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 big. Um, better not pout. Nancy Halverson. Right. So. The whole Christmas line is coming. Um, her toweling is coming. Okay, her towels. Um, so really cute. I know uh, several of you have pre-ordered this book through our Saturday Smile program. If you did not catch that, you can. I ordered them. And then, you know, just like happens to you, someone pushed their button before I did. And those books were given to someone else. However... Yesterday, a new shipment of books arrived at our distributor, so those will be heading to us, okay? So Nancy Halverson, just so cute. We're going to do a Saturday Smile program on Better Not Pout, and obviously we'll, we'll be sharing with you next month during um, this patchwork party. Um, so get your order in for that book. It's $20, and it's been a on their way to us. This is one of the new Martingale releases. Okay, again, a little, um, we're a little handicapped with the new Martingale releases because they are in Washington State and they are on a total shutdown. Okay, so I, am um, finding the books elsewhere. Okay, but they have been shipped. So that is a nice book all about wool projects from Kathy Cardiff. Okay, so really nice. Um, 25 Days to Better Machine Quilting is a June release, but I thought, gosh, we're close enough to June. I might as well put it in there for you. So I have not physically seen it, but again, when you click that, it will bring up different pictures for you um, so that you can see some of the inside of the book, okay? So kind of a nice way to do it. Um, Labor of Love is a release for May. So those are on their way to us also. And Tried and True, the new Joe Morton book is a June release. So I do have them pre-ordered, but obviously they are not in stock yet. But you can obviously put your pre-order in, okay? So those are all the books. 
our new collections of fabrics. So Fracture, which is a blending line, right? A blender line, we received all new colors. So now we're up to 28 colors in Fracture. Okay, so if you hit that picture of Fracture, all the different fabrics will show up. Okay, so really good blenders. Um, the other one that came in is Vintage Farmhouse. Okay, so that is the new McKenna Ryan from Hoffman. And that is the line that we will be using for our Westerly quilt, the essence of tradition. Okay, we'll get started on that shortly. Put in the 60 inch wide toweling from Janelle Kent. It's beautiful. That was our Saturday smile. We're also going to, um, we don't even have some of the newer pins. They're not available, right? They are being released shortly. So um, I shared this on Saturday. So this is a red, white, and blue toweling. And you can make a cute little runner. This is in a free download. So if you place an order for toweling, I can slip the pattern in. I printed out some of the patterns. I can slip the pattern in for this project. So nice and easy. But the 60-inch toweling, all you need is five-eighths of a yard. You sew six Friendship Star Blocks that are six and a half inches. You um, trim your toweling um, to 18 and a half inches. Attach the Friendship Stars and you're done. Okay, obviously I have to quilt this, but pretty much done. So that was a freebie from Janelle Kent to preview her um, toweling. Okay, so lots of other things to do with the toweling. So that will be coming short uh, in another Saturday smile, okay? But you can look at um, all the pretty colors of toweling. You know, all you need to do is chunk off two yards or the length of your picnic table with some overlap. And you have uh, hem all four edges with a double half inch hem. And you have a beautiful tablecloth that can go in and out of your dryer. So really perfect for the summer. Okay. So we put all the dry, uh, toweling in. Um, drywall arrived from Marcus Brothers. Um, five bolts, um, but they are gorgeous textures. So when you hit the drywall, um, You'll be able to see them, but just know that they're nubby, they're textured. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful neutrals, okay? So um, you can look at those. And then uh, Rachel's Tribute arrived. So um, we will be cutting Fat Eighth and Fat Quarter Packs. I know all the ladies in Repro Club were very interested in that. So now that the fabric is all here, it will... Um, get unpackaged and we'll start cutting those. Okay, so you'll be able to order those. Also, Rachel's Tribute, the block of the month from Pam Buddha will begin in June. So if you haven't, you've been sitting on the fence again about that one, now would be the time to sign up so that we can get that all in order. Okay. All right, what is coming? Oh my goodness, May and June are really huge months for us to receive fabric, right? And um, it was tricky. Do you cancel some things? Don't you cancel some things? But, you know, we want to be able to have both fall fabric and Christmas fabric available to you, right? So, so far, we've been taking everything, okay, as it becomes available. So, what we'll be shipping um, into June, and this is only like a little bit of it, okay? The All Hallows Eve from Moda. You might have heard of this before. Um, they reprinted it. And um, we talked ourselves out of it last year. Um, we did it this year. It's just really beautiful. So this is from Fig Tree Quilts. And they work with a book called Witch's Night Out. So we are getting the line. So that's All Hallows Eve. It is all being reprinted. Okay. So that will be coming. Obviously, I spoke about Better Not Pout. That's coming, right? So lots of fun toweling projects. You know, Nancy does beautiful applique work. So that's really exciting. Spellcaster's Garden. Oh, my gosh. We loved this. This is a Maywood, and this is designed by Meg Hockey of Crabapple Hill. So a lot of you may know her for her stitchery patterns. Um, she is now designing family. Perfect. 
Festive Chickadees by Jackie Robinson for Banner Text. Um, probably, and you know, I'm really terrible at this, but probably four years ago, maybe five, um, Jackie had released a chicken, released a chicken Christmas line. And it was whoop, wildly popular. So she changed things up a bit and, um, but is, um, a new line called Festive Chickadees. So um, we are getting that in some projects to work with that line of fabric. And then lastly, So Merry and Bright, which is a small Marcus line designed by Tracy Souza. And she also does um, embroidery and stitchery projects. So really, really, really cute and a panel that you can either choose to stitch over and embellish or not. So she's um, coming up with some patterns for those as well. So that will be um, arriving shortly, okay? So lots of things to look forward to. All right, what's the latest products, okay? Um, during our Saturday Smile two weeks ago, so that would have been May 16, we did a program all about me and my sister. Um, so Barb and Mary are releasing two new patterns. One is called Diddy Bag and one is called Screen Door. And Screen Door is a quilt that uses fat quarters, okay? So we previewed um, and they made their quilt out of their uh, new to be released line, new and called Back Porch, okay? So it's all red, white, and blues. And the week that we did red, white, and blues, um, for our Saturday Smile was beyond wild. So obviously red, white, and blues are super popular. So um, we ordered in some fat quarter packs and some of the fabric from Back Porch. So that will be coming in August, but you can pre-order your fat quarter packs, okay? I would show you the patterns, but um, I don't have them. They're pre-releases, okay? So they should be coming out any moment now. Remember, it's that whole thing. It was Quilt Market a couple of weeks ago, um, or the time slot was, right? So things are just being released now. So those will be coming, but super fun, as our Barb and Mary, right? Um, okay, behind me, bike ride. This was very well received. Again, I... Uh, showed this on Saturday during the Saturday Smile. So we have kits available. They're $59.99 and they include the pattern, all the fabric for the top and the binding, right? So how fun is that? And it's together so quickly. The animals are part of a panel, right? And then um, just a few different fabrics. So really, really, really fun. So you can order that. Um, and then just in in case you missed it, Barb and Mary um, released a new template. So when they were here, they did the double wide Dresden, right? And that, what the, what the double wide means is normally when you make a Dresden plate, you need 20 sections. Well, double wide cuts that in half. So you only need 10. So we were working when Barb and Mary were here, I'm just looking to see if I have a template, with the traditional uh, double wide template. Now, they released one that is a double wide, <clears throat> and it's a double wide four patch. So again, this was really popular on the Saturday Smile. So if you happened to mix miss it these are still available and they come with a pattern called cherry picket so i did a sweet little um dresden plate and this uses their um new template the smaller one so this is built on i believe a 15 inch block and then your plate fits on so your pattern is for three of these that you put together so I use the Charm Pack Rosewood, which is listed online. Okay, so that's a fun thing. All right. <clears throat> so I, uh, we ordered in some things that just, again, um, just to try them, right? So we have the Triangle Garland behind me, and I don't think you can see it, 
but this is a chalkboard. Okay, so I wrote party on it, okay, with white chalk, right? But you can, I mean, my daughter-in-law would absolutely love this. So a seven-piece garland set, and that is $30.99. Obviously, your discount would apply. They also just released a magnetic whiteboard. So hang this in your kitchen or your sewing room and say, these are my projects and line them up. Okay, so a whiteboard. So dry erase marker. Okay, so very cute. So that is in, on your interactive page. <clears throat> they came out with white enamel magnets because there is also this round scalloped stand, right? And I put on the eight inch home circle just to show you how this works. These are the magnets. Okay, so these are the magnets that stick to the scale of holder. There is a new series of patterns coming out that are 10 inch circles and they're from So Cherished. Okay, so I have them on order. We have not received any of them yet, obvious, otherwise I would show them to you. But this is beautiful. It's 22 inches high and it's magnetized, right? So very fun. Okay, so those are some of the new things. We are actually quilt market next week. So it's running Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So hopefully we'll have lots and lots of great ideas for you after, just like we do when we come back from quilt market. Okay. All right. So it's time. Is it time for the bum in the seat prize? Is it time for the bum in the seat prize? Okay. Um, all right. Ooh, light crowd. Yeah. Light crowd today. What are you doing? Are you outside in the heat? <laughs> All right. So again, we cannot get overly creative, ladies. Uh, so Mary, you're going to receive a used online. You can apply it online or you can call and I can take it off if, in, while we chat, when we chat about what you need. Okay, so this belongs to Mary Marette. Thank you, Mary. And they all go in the big bum in the seat. Ah, yes. They all go in the big bum in the seat. All right. I should probably show you this because I had it sitting here, right? So this is Lakeside. Okay, so this is Lakeside Shoulder Bag. And this was um, premiered on Saturday Smile. Um, and this is all made from toweling as well. So isn't it cute? Lakeside shoulder bag. This is the medium size. So lot, again, lots of fun stuff coming from toweling. All right. So I think it is time for sew and share, right? So we have, okay, so I am going to go around and you can follow along if you are on your interactive page, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is show the challenge pictures, and then we'll get into general sew and share. And the way we're going to do the prize awarding for the challenge picture is I have chosen two numbers for this morning, um, and then we'll do more in this evening session. So it might be a crossover for whoever wins. I've written numbers down, and whoever is that number of the slide, okay, they will win the um, challenge project, okay? All right, I'm going to put this right in front here, and I'm going to see if I can show you this. Okay, let's just, let me put this on. Okay, there we go. So hope, I, okay. Our challenge, oh. Okay, so this comes from Janice Delbert. And this is uh, Janice's version of the quilt. So remember, this is crazy because if your picture did not get on from the quilt last month, 
we are showing it this one, okay? Just because it, it is just, it's a crazy word. So we're obviously bending the rules. Okay, so that's for Janet. So nice job, Janet. The next one's from Jane Lakata, not the name you twisted. Ah, thank you. <laughs> this is from Jane Lakata, another pink quilt. So how cute is that? So it must be made for some little baby in your family. Nice job. Next, we have Mary Beth Abramson. So she took the You Got Mail, made the log cabin blocks. I'm going to try to get up with my daters. Sorry. Made the log cabin blocks and then um, put a little sail on that is her applique. So that came out super nice, Mary Beth. And I know you're watching long distance. And I know you're watching long distance. Can, they, can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, I'm going to go around the other side. How about I hang you talk? Oh, perfect. Because I was going to come sit right there. Okay, perfect. All right. So Helen's going to help and hang the pictures. And then I'm going to talk. So if we work it this way, it, does that help you? Okay. So we'll try this. All right. So this one was from Mary Beth, right? So Mary Beth, and remember, and we're happy that you're watching long distance. Oh, this is Chris Burkmeyer. Okay. Much better. Okay. Um, this is Chris Burkmeyer's version of You've Got Mail. So adorable, Chris. Really like it. This is from Janet Stelrecht. So Janet did two pockets and more flowers and toweling. Three pockets. Oh, three pockets? A baby, baby pocket. In the oh. Middle. Cute, cute, cute. And really nice and easy with the toweling. Made from Jan Mall. Okay, and this is Jan Mail. Oh, she did toweling too. And... What is your pocket made from? Seat pack fabric. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. So a seed packet fabric. Oh, that's adorable, Jan. Was that in your stash? <laughs> okay, so Donna Clark. Okay, um, the background on this is, is it toweling or is it? No, fabric, four squares of fabric. Very, very nice. And an actual jeans pocket. Mmm, recycling. This one is... Diane Conklin. Oh, Diane Conklin. So nice, nice job, Diane. So you're going to actually use yours for mail. You can hang that outside if you want. This one's from Annette Ryerson. And it's a very different use of the of the applique design. Okay, so this is from Annette, and Annette um, being very creative, um, applied the actual project and created a bag, right? And this so toweling is the base, and there is the base of the bag, and there is lots of applique on it. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. So another good idea. Mary Lou Vogt. So her rendition of the You've Got Mail. Really cute. Is that um, pocket fabric or fabric? Okay. And roses. 
Oh, and roses. Renee Lorenz. Okay, so this is Renee, La Renee Lorenz. So she did a, um, I'm assuming a table topper, right? Or some of that sort, right? Mm -hmm. So nice job on your log cabin blocks. Karen Petrosky had a picture. Yep. So Kieran, and those of you who know, when she comes to her session of Patchwork Party, she always embellishes with stitchery. So this is a little bit of a work in progress. Um, I'm actually working to pick um, a binding, a deep red binding for Kieran and um, backing. So she used all six log cabin blocks that she made. Linda. Okay, so this is Linda, and her says, Howdy, <laughs> this is adorable. Love it, love it. So really nice colors, and um, good job on your project, too. Karen Miller with embroidery. Oops, sorry for the, I had two pages stick together, ladies. Okay, so this is Karen Miller, machine embroidery, mm -hmm. and it says, um, ring. Nancy Evans. She um, chose to change it up a little bit too. And this is USA on, and stars on top of her log cabin blocks. Love it. Cheryl Shoemaker. Oh, this is Cheryl. Did Cheryl write that she did a pillow? I Cheryl, I, 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 may, I might be wrong, but I love your basket. Really nice idea, and the idea of throwing a flag in there, that is fun. I thought I had read that you turned this into a pillow, but I apologize if I'm wrong. And I love the way the logs make a little stand for the pot. Well, there you go. And Carl. Okay, this one is Sharon Carl. Nice job, Sharon. So you've got all kinds of... Um, um, colorful log cabin blocks. I like the way you set your pattern as well. Guys, if this is Helen, if you can hear me, and I have a favor to ask, when you email your pictures, can you make sure to include your name, your first and last name, because I don't want to guess, and sometimes I just have an email address, and in this case, I just had Mary Jane. Oh, this is Mary <laughs> Jane Mindell. Is this Mary Jane? Um, oh, yours says welcome. Really cute. And, you know, it's just so funny when we see these projects, all that you all do with them, right? Mm -hmm. And turn them into your very own. We love it. Jennifer Angevine. Okay, so this is Jennifer Angevine. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, perhaps a little bit bigger added borders. Really nice job. Love it. Okay, so I bought um, a fabric kit in the colors that we made, and um, it was cute. I did read her. She said she loved the way it turned out. So we'll applicate on that one. This is Deb Marshall. So she created a little quilt. So I'm not sure if those blocks are the same size or a different size, but it came out. Nice job. Paula Paracosi with machine embroidery. Oh, so Paula's got machine embroidery. What does it say across the top? Where flowers bloom, so, so does hope. Paula thought that was a great quote given today's time. Ah, where flowers bloom, so does hope. Very, very nice. Very nice. Nice job, Ruth. I like how you added... Um, an applique on the pot as well, right? A heart that looks really pretty. And then you did smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to smile. For some days, we certainly don't feel like <laughs> Judy Russell. Oh, Judy Russell. Ooh, nice colors, Judy. Like a little, it looks to me from here like a little bit of a color wash thing going on there. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Pat Arnold. Okay, this is Pat Arnold. So, ooh, really nice, Pat. I love all your colors. Like lace bows down at the bottom. Oh, really? A little bit of lace at the bottom? Looks like it. 
Beth Paracosi. Okay, so this is Beth Paracosi. A nice job on your piecing. And I think you made, did you make your flowers fuller? Mm -hmm. Of course, because you're a garden person. So you would think to do that. <laughs> Rick rack on the stems. Oh, and you used Rick rack for the stems. Good idea. Dawn Hill created a 23 inch square. Ooh, so Dawn Hill, this is 23 inch square. And looks like she added, is it leaves, Helen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So some leaves. Leaves and a, yeah, beautiful. And I love your um, frame of it all, right? Mm -hmm. and, and blanket stitched with a variegated thread. Oh, and you blanket stitched with a variegated thread. <clears throat> and our last one that I have is Susan Chavez. Okay, so this is Susan Chavez, and she comes in the evening and it looks like toweling mm -hmm. behind. And um, and yep, in a real jeans pocket, and then your adorable flowers. So nice job. So those are the number of uh, entrants that we had for this month. If I missed, please have an email. Yep. So if if yours was missed, please email us another picture, and we will show it next month. So number three, so whoever was the third frame mm -hmm. in number 16. Three and 16, okay. So if you were three or 16, look in your email and you'll get a $5 gift certificate. Ten. Ten, ooh. $10 gift certificate, ladies, okay? Again, we can't get overly creative. Three and 13. Three and 16. Three and 16, okay. Do you want that? Yes, please. Okay, now we have sew and share. And now we have sew and share. And I wish you could all talk about your projects. This is the hard part. Joanne McGowan, Grandma's Porch from Pine Grove by Carol Hopkins. Okay, so this is a little bit older. Uh, Joanne wrote that this is from Pine Grove days, and it was called Grandma's Porch by Carol Hopkins. Okay, so Grandma Grandma's Porch by Carol Hopkins. So very, very, very nice job. Very nice. Oh, I know what I didn't address today. What? The mask template. And it made me think of it because I talked to Joey. Ah. Okay, don't leave me at the end of the sewing show. <laughs> Mary Beth Abramson. It's her three-yard quilt, County Fair, and from Easy Does It, and quilted with West Point. Ooh, this is a three-yard quilt from Easy Does It. And it, this is Mary Beth Abramson, and she quilted it with Westerly. Kudos to you. Shirley Peterson, and it is her toughest. That's oh. perfectly staged. So this is Shirley Peterson's toughest. It came out beautiful. You did not pick that um, kit up that long ago. So really nice job, Shirley. And quick. And another project from Shirley. And this is another project from Shirley, a table runner? A table runner. It's a Christmas. I oh, think. a Christmas table runner. I think. Don't quote me on that if yeah. I'm wrong, Shirley. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris Burkmeyer, and she used edge-to-edge -edge quilting with her machine embroidery, and it's a sports, like she has um, hockey sticks in a puck. Okay, so this looks like <clears throat> from the three yard books as well. And there's sports. Um, Helen can see hockey sticks there. And she used edge to edge quilting to finish it off. So thank you for sharing that. Jane Brown. Jane Brown. And this looks like lots of needle turn applique. Wow. Oh, beautiful. I wonder if that's a Joe Moore. Hmm. We'll have to find out. Mary Moret, another th easy does it. Okay, so this is Mary Moret, and this is another three yard quilt from Easy Does It. Um, really nice. I actually was shown this in the parking lot. So <laughs> it came out super, Mary. Diane Conklin from Table Tastic. Oh, so 
Diane Conklin, this is from Table Tastic, um, Doug Lico's new book. And um, remember, you can still order those too. And because we'll be working with it more and more. But this is taking a panel and making a sweet little wall hanging out of it. That came out really nice. The more, Mary's been really busy. So we have a couple projects from Mary. So Mary Moret, this looks like, oh, what is that called? Is that for all your rulers and everything? Um, oh, Lisa taught this. I can't rem quite remember what it's called. But boy, oh boy, three of them, you have been busy. And she had some time left over, and here's another quilt. Oh, yes, another three-yard quilt. I actually got to see this in person, too. These are beautiful, Mary, just beautiful. <clears throat> this is from Annette Ryerson. She adapted it from Carrie Carr's class when she was here. Oh, so this is Annette Ryerson, and when Carrie Carr was here, this is the picnic time quilt. And wow, that is beautiful. It's also quilted with Westerly. Oh, and this was quilted with Westerly as well. Nice, nice job. I love that one. Mary Lou Boat, 3D and B is created with machine embroidery. Okay, so this is Mary Lou Boat, machine embroidery in a 3D B. He's so cute. Mary Lou has also been busy, and we have another project that she also did the quilting on. Okay, so this is a table topper, and that came out super cute. Um, hexagons. Right, it looks like hexagons, and um, she quilted this as well. Right, mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is from Barbara Huber, meshing around, modeled by her grandchildren. Oh, I know you were super excited to go visit them. How adorable! So, she made her grandchildren the meshing around bags from By Annie, so they're being modeled. How cute is this? <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> In the tongue. <clears throat> Mary Adrian's three yard quilt for her twins. Oh, yes. I talked to Mary about this yesterday. Mary, these did turn beautiful. So um, she made these for her twin grandsons, grandchildren. So I think the one is glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. And the other one is grays and blacks. Really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Nice quilting, too. Oh, yeah? Helen says, very nice quilting from the close-up picture. This is from Linda Legerton. And these are for her Her cat plays with these. They're, they're tails with feathers. That she made. Oh, my gosh. Your cat plays with these and their tails with feathers. I see those at the pet store. She makes them. Um, when I had young guys... They used to play with things like this. Oh my gosh. How fun. You're really getting to have fun. This is Karen Miller, French Connection, King Size Quilt. Oh, I talked to Karen about this too. I'm going to have to take a bigger or closer look at this. So this was, um, I'm sorry, the name of it? Uh, French Connection. Oh yes, French Connection. And Karen, we did it in a lap. Size that had made it. Oh my gosh. So Lauren's project for Sew and Share is wow, nice, really, really beautiful, Lauren. This is from Nancy Evans. She calls it Hope's Journey, maybe journey through a pandemic. Oh, so this is from the Hope's Journey book, I'm assuming. Um, oh my gosh, I'd like to see that in person too. Someday you're going to have to bring that and share with us. Wow, that is so much to look at in that one. Beautiful job, Nancy. Wow. Oh, I love those kind of quotes. Another one from Lauren Devanter. It's a stitching. It says, my house is untidy. The garden's overgrown. My hair is a mess. Boy, does this sound like me. But you should see what I've sewn. <laughs> that is really adorable, Lauren. I bet that, that was fun to make. Sharon Carl, another three-yard quilt from Easy Peasy. Oh, I'm loving all these three-yard quilts. So this is another three-yard from Easy Peasy. 
newer book that's available through us. Um, really nice. They're, with so many grandchildren, these are great to make, right? Because the kids can just do whatever with them. This is another one. This is from my Annie. It's by Mary Jane. She makes these as presents and puts gift cards. So this is Mary Jane, and this is the by Annie. I, was this a download? I think it might have been. Mm -hmm. I think this might, might be a free download. Um, but it, uh, she makes these for gift cards and then gives them as gifts. Mm -hmm. Karen Kudla modeling her cat. Yay! I think that's another that's another for you. Half quilt will have a cat on it. <laughs> so yep, this looks like from the three yard quilt book. That came out really nice, Karen. Love your kitty. Mary Grace. Oh, Mary Grace is sharing with us a table runner that she made over the past couple of months. So love the colors. The Ingalls Wall quilt. Oh, so it's Shirley Ingalls. So does that say happy? Be happy, yes. Oh, be happy. That's adorable. I mm -hmm. love the beehive. Really cute. And some stitchery from Shirley. Ah, uh, yes. It would not be so in share if Shirley did not share her stitcheries. So I'm assuming buttermilk basin. So a uh, really cute. Really cute. <clears throat> this is for Mary Jane. Her father turned 96. Okay, so this is a happy, happy birthday banner that Mary Jane made for her father, who recently turned 96. Wow! Happy birthday! <laughs> wow! Linda Burwalt. Okay, so this this is Linda Burwall, and this is her wall hanging. It's a baby quilt. No, it's a baby quilt. Oh, it's a baby quilt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, adorable. Aw, lucky baby. Paula Pericosi, fresh cut. Oh, Paula finished all of her blocks for fresh cut. So now she can put everything together and then get ready for the next block of the month. <laughs> Jan, Mark. Oh, oh, that came out really nice, Jan. Love, love, love all the happy colors. That's adorable. Is that a baby quilt? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And this is a precious, I think this is that fold over pillow. Oh, I love these. Um, made many, many, many of these. So that's a great idea, Jan. So is it in the same fabric that matches the quilt, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cute button. Another project for Mary Grace. This is from Mary Grace. So not a three-yard quilt. A little bit more, a little more involved, but that came out really nice. John Hill made this with a three-yard fabric rather than making the quilt. Oh, so John bought a three-yard fabric packet. And instead of making a quilt, she made a bag. By Annie's. Oh, one of Annie's, by, uh, one of the by Annie bags. Oh, great way to use it. I know, because you can't shop. <laughs> and lastly, for Mary Grace. And to round out the program, this is another quote from Mary Grace. You have been busy, woman. Nice job. Thank you, thank you so very much for the, all the sewing share and the challenge. So the reason that I, I'm going to take this down. So the reason I said, don't leave me, I forgot part of the program. Um, all right, so we have a mask bag for you, right? And we've been selling the designer mask kits. So just an update for you, if you are, if you purchase those, we obviously printed out or emailed you a pattern and it is the by Annie pattern. Well, Annie's video is now posted to her website about the mask. So rather than me talking about it, okay, I, we figured just go to her website. She's the pro at this. This is her design. So if you have any questions at all or you just want to watch it, Helen attached it, a link for you to go to Annie's website and look at that, okay? 
Secondly, I was on the phone with um, Joanne McGowan yesterday morning, and she was talking about asking me about a new creative grid template that cuts masks, three different sizes. I had seen it. I had mentioned to Joanne that I believe it was a pre-order, that it is becoming available in June. And yes, that is the case. So I have nothing to show you, okay, because it is a pre-order. But if you click on your inner arm, some pe Joanne was saying, you know, she wanted to do this really quickly and just cut it out. So you could even use that template on uh, the Buy Annie mask kit and use her elastic as well. Okay, so if you are wanting to try something different and a really easy, fast cut, um, you can order that template, okay? I apologize. I don't know where my head was. Um, not saying this sooner, okay? So I hope you all caught that. All right, you will be receiving um, a YouTube video from Helen, not receiving, but it'll be updated to your interactive page. I did say that earlier. Helen's like going, no, 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 no. Remember, it's not a separate email. Not, okay? That was disastrous for us. Um, okay, live and learn. All right, ladies, I hope you have a super, super day and um, join us Saturday for our Saturday Smile, okay? Take care, everyone. Bye.